Alright, welcome back to another video. Now, so, this is going to be another episode of Sakura Sakibes. Now, um, for this episode, there's going to be no face cam. For reasons beyond me, I'm an idiot. <laughs> that's, that's, that's all I'm going to say. I'm an idiot. Um, so I may have or may have not forgotten to literally check if two of the clips were there during the deletion and the clearance of my storage. So now I have to do this particular video without face cam. So yeah, I uh, hope you guys enjoy my faceless gameplay. I'm sorry if uh, you're going to miss my face for at least the next two days. I promise you the next one will be coming out very, very, very soon. So please, please hang tight and enjoy the video. Here we go. All right, welcome back to another episode of Sakura Succubus 2. Now, where we left off, um, we had to deal with a lot of work <laughs> right off uh, our week off of our job. So now um, we are about to probably, maybe, get everything ready to go see Hazel. Williams. So, um, let's get into it. Ah, oh, jeez, shut up. I'm roused from my slumber the following morning by the shrill, teeny beeping of my alarm clock. I get up from my futon, hair's tousled, and turn off my hateful clock with the deft press of a switch. Less silence uh, evelopes me. Now I can finally think. <sighs> I yawned heavily, tears beating into my eyes, and glance at my alarm clock. It's five o'clock in the morning. It's so early, the sun hasn't risen yet. Usually I wake up about two hours later than this. My workday starts at nine, but with my hour commute factoring in, I usually wake up around 6.45. It's not so today, however. My boss arranged me to meet Hazel Williams at Okawa Sports Center at seven, uh, for some unknown reason. The Okawa Sports Center's in Tokyo, but it's on the outskirts. It's more than an hour away. It'll take me a while to travel there. I wish I could slide back into my futon and go to sleep, but then I'd miss my very early appointment with Hazel. I can't afford to let my boss down now, not after I've taken a whole week off work. I need to prove that... I need to... Oh, excuse me. I need to prove that uh, I need to prove to that old bastard that I'm good at my job, damn it. I slap my cheeks with both hands, hoping to psych myself up. This is pretty stressful, yeah, and it's kind of inconvenient. But Marina has to put up in with way way more than I do. If she can keep on top of her business schedule, then I can do at least this much. No problem. Well, that's what I say, but I'm not being entirely honest. There is a bit of a problem here. I still haven't gotten a shower or dress and I'm starving. I need something to eat. It'd be nice if Afumi were here to prepare breakfast for me, but she's not. Being an actress, she's probably busy on her own frantic, jam-packed schedule. I don't really have the time to make a hearty breakfast for myself. Even if I did, my miso soup's nothing to write home about. It could never compare to Hifumi's. I guess I'll have some toast. It's a pity, but it can't be helped. If I'm not quick, I'll be late. It might be charming when high school girls make a mad dash for school gates, toast in their mouth, but it's not so for grown members of society. As adults, we expect to play our part. We've, I've got to adhere to my own role 
in this rat race. All right, let's do this. I wash, dress, and eat in a fit, frantic rush, and then fly out of my front door at 5.30. I dashed to the nearby station um, and board the next train to Tokyo suburbs at 5.45. The journey takes slightly over an hour. Uh, when I finally arrived at my destination, it's 6.50, uh, which means I only had a few minutes to get to the Okawa Sports Center. Fortunately, the sports center isn't too far away from the train station. Uh, I arrived five minutes before my scheduled appointment, flushed with sweat, and but decidedly on time. I did it! So you say your name is Ogazawara. A receptionist peers at me from over the counter. She seems like a sporty sort herself, her skin tanned, her hair pulled back in a ponytail. Wait a minute. I'm not going to suspect anything. I'm just going to let this go through. She looks remarkably refreshed given how early the hour is. I don't envy her for waking up so early. In fact, I'm surprised this place even opens its doors at this hour. Though, based on its website, this sports center is open 24-7. It boasts expensive indoor tennis courts, a swimming pool, and a gym filled with top-of-the-range equipment. I guess it's pretty convenient for people to, who get stuck with the sudden urge to pump iron at 4 in the morning. But I can't see the appeal myself. Who wants to work out around the clock? You would have to have some sort of masochist. I feel exhausted after merely getting to this place and I was sat on the train for most of my journey. That's right, I'm um, Ogazawara oh, 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 Hiroki, excuse me. Mr. Ogazawara, then, it's a pleasure to make your acquaintance. Have you come up to sign up to our gym? Oh, no, I'm not a customer, actually. Really? The receptionist lips purse. Forgive me for being blunt, but you look like you could use a good workout. Your face is all flustered. Your breathing is so heavy. Jeez. <laughs> that is pretty blunt, yeah. I'm surprised this receptionist has such a sharp tongue, but I can't be mad at her. She's not wrong. My lungs are heavily in air. I did kind of run here, and my sides hurt. My kind of bag stuff with the equipment cam oh sorry the expensive camera equipment must have bumped it during my mad dash here to quote a famous superhero movie I don't feel so good <laughs> I don't I doubt I look good either but I have to persevere um, I came here on behalf of the Sakura daily on my boss's orders he asked me to take a few photos of Miss Williams on our upcoming publication and to get a brief interview with her, if at all possible. I believe our mini meeting is scheduled for 7. Hmm, now let's see. The receptionist taps away at her computer. She examines the screen for a few moments. Her eyes flicker left and right before meeting the gaze anew. Ah, yes, it seems like things are all in order. It's nice to meet you, Mr. Ogazawara. No problem, you too. Um... The receptionist slips out from behind the counters walking towards me. I think she means to shake my hand, but then she sees how sweaty my palm is and reconsiders. No shit. Um, <laughs> uh, it's probably because I look like such a mess. Now then, would you like me to escort you to the tennis courts? Hazel is here already. She arrived a half an hour before you did. What? Really? I got here a few minutes before seven, so that must have mean... She's been here since half six? Yes, that's right. Wow. That's pretty dedicated. Uh, that's pretty dedicated. I can't speak right now. I don't know why. I, I'm having a hard time speaking. <sighs> Damn it. Does she always come here this early? Oh, yes. She's a serious athlete, so she has to stay on top of her game. At a 6 a.m. start is fairly typical for her. She was a bit late today, a matter of fact. For real? I whistle. I never would have thought that to watch her play. She makes it all look so easy. Well, he's a left tennis. She practices. Ah, 
I can't speak. I don't know why. What's going on? Ugh, it's probably because I'm literally doing this. But anyway. Well, Hazel loves tennis. She practices for hours every day. But she never complains. Whenever she greets me in the morning, it's with a big smile. She works hard, yes. But she truly does love the game. Her passion is obvious for all to see. She's a truly amazing woman. Watching her play in person is wonderful. Her smooth curves over her thighs, the way she grips the racket, her fierce, determined expression. Every second I see it, it makes me love her just a bit, a little bit more. Love, huh? Oh, um, the receptionist face flushes. I meant as an athlete, of course. Of course. The receptionist is trying to save face, but she can't fool me. She is gushing about, about Hazel right just now, like a character f from a Shakespearean play. The receptionist is obviously crazy about Hazel. She adores her. I wonder if her feelings is unrequited or if Hazel seen fit to return them. That comment on that one my two video say Hazel didn't wear panties turned out to be true. Why not the claim that she's lesbian? Each piece of information I glean makes me more and more intrigued about Hazel Williams. Can't wait to meet her. Can I fall under her spell? Just like the unnamed receptionist, I wonder? All right, we're here. The receptionist pushes out the door that leads me into an indoor tennis court. It's a huge, cavernous kind of space. It's a little like a place of worship. Hmm. It looks like there's at least six full-sized tennis courts in here. The floor is green, but the courts themselves are painted blue. They're all mapped out with a thick white line with nets set up in the center. Though this room is huge, it's barren. I don't see any signs of life except for over there. Well, damn, she wasn't kidding when she said she was dedicated. <laughs> she definitely wasn't kidding. It's Hazel. Oh my, she looks lovely today too. She's not even playing yet. And one can certainly see the tension on her arms and legs. The bulging of her muscles and the shrink sweat upon her brow. Her piercing green eyes. She really is the perfect woman. Perfect seems a bit of a stretch, but I am inclined to agree with, her th with the thirsty receptionist on at least one point. Hazel does look lovely. She's standing on the edge of one of the courts performing a series of warm-up exercises. First, she stretches her arms, then her legs. Then she sinks into the form and reaches for her toes. She looks utterly wrapped in her exercises. She isn't paying me, nor the receptionist, a blind bit of attention. Maybe she didn't hear us come in. Her concentration is unbreakable. Though she is smiling, there is a hard glant, glint, excuse me, to her eyes she looks like she did a video my bot she uh, god damn it she looks just like she did on that video my boss sent me when she dealt the final serve on that winning tennis match her dedication is commendable this woman is has serious grit <sighs> I could watch her for hours I think the receptionist could too. She stares at Hazel unabashedly. One hand held on to her cheeks in a way that reminds me of Fafumi. Oh, she's so lovely. She makes this job of mine worthwhile. Seeing her every single morning always brightens my spirits. I wish I could spend more time with her. The receptionist glares at me, her lips pursed. But I suppose I can't. Not now. You come to monopolize her attention. Call me paranoid, but I think I'm detecting a hint of resentment in the receptionist's voice. I guess she's none too happy about this arrangement. Oh well, her job is a job. I got to take some shots of Hazel regardless of what she thinks. Do you think it'd be alright if I called out to her? I'd like to introduce myself. By all means, she knows you're coming. I'd prefer it you could 
get this over and done with as soon as possible. To be quite honest, take as many photographs as you want and don't be shy if that I'm here. Please go ahead. Thanks, but uh, I think I'd prefer to do this with Hazel, just me and her. That would make things easier. What? The reception is bristles. Are you saying you don't need me here? I, uh, well, I don't want to be rude, but no, not really. You've shown me where Hazel is, so you can return to your desk for now. I don't want to interrupt you. Oh, I see how it is. You want Hazel all to yourself, don't you? I th thought I might have been imagining it before, but now I know this isn't the case. This m woman, this woman is seriously glaring at me. What did she expect me to say to that? I'm all. The receptionist pursed her lips together. She doesn't look entirely convinced, but I think she, she's going to let it slide for now. Oh, very well. I don't like this, but I suppose I can let you speak with her alone. Don't lay a finger on Hazel, though. If you do, you'll be in big trouble. What? what? I wouldn't. I hold my hands in self hands up in self-defense. Who does this woman think I am anyway? She's glaring at me as I'm some sort of pervert. Her gaze is just as hateful as that of my colleagues back at work. I guess I've gotten the ability to an alienate, sorry. I guess I've gotten the ability to alienate others down to an art form. Hmm, very well, I trust you just this once. But remember, you only have one hour with Hazel. When your time is up, I'll have to ask you to leave. I can't have you distracting Hazel for too long. She has an important tournament coming up and she needs to practice. When you're finished, stop by the desk so I can sign you out, okay? All right. And here's another thing to keep in mind. Oh God, what else? As you're not a member of the sports center, you are not allowed to wander around discriminately. You have to stay here in the tennis courts. If I catch you somewhere you don't belong, you'll have to pay a penalty. Somewhere I don't belong, like where? Oh, I don't know, the woman's changing room, perhaps? Is this bitch serious? Okay. The receptionist gives me a sidelong look before she turns her head. I'll remind you once again, you only have an hour. Then she leaves. I watch as she pushes open the doors and then stalks off. I breathe an audible sob of relief when she finally disappears. Now I no longer feel that I'm on a tender hooks. I can talk to Hazel one on one, like I always intended. I just hope this meeting is beneficial to a pair of us. For a bit of luck, I was able to get all the snaps I wanted today. Then I have never have to return to this place and I have I never have to deal with the receptionist ever again. I'll be free. Before that, however, <clears throat> I clear my throat and then call out to Hazel. It's nice to meet you, Hazel. Hazel Williams. I heard a lot about you. My name is Okazawara Hiroki. I've come to photograph you for the for the Sakura Daily. Would you mind uh, taking a few? Mind if I take a, a few seconds of your time? Oh, Hiroki! Hazel snaps her head. Not gonna lie, I like the model here. Um, Hazel snaps her head up, she gets to her feet, and then jogs over to me, her face flushed from exertion. She's a bit sweaty after all those stretches, and her clothes are clinging onto her body. Her hair is muscled up, and the pleats of her white skirt is rumpled. I do my best not to gulp at her thighs. Trust me, so am I. Um, but anyway. I did hear about you, yes. Yuriko told me you were going to drop by. Yuriko, would that be the receptionist who works here? Yes, that's right. I've come here to train it every day. She and I get on pretty well. <laughs> so, that woman's called Yuriko, is she? That's good to know. Really though, that's such a prophet name. I can't think of a more fitting name, given the way she's 
salivating all over Easel. It's so funny, I can't stop myself from snickering. <laughs> oh? Hazel peers up at me. What is it, Roki? Is there something on my face? Hazel, I can't help but notice you're being far more familiar than Yuriko was. She's n not calling me by my family name, though we're strangers. Is that because we're she's only half Japanese? She's very forthright. Oh no, I was just thinking. Well, I guess it doesn't matter. Uh, huh. Hazel nods, but her, her expression is uncomprehending. Where's Yuriko, anyway? I figured you must have met her already. Did she bring you in here? She did, as a matter of fact. She already left, though. You were so focused on your warm-ups, you, mi you, mu you missed... Uh, you must have missed her. Why the fuck is... See? What? Really? Poor Yuriko. I should have greeted her. I don't want her to feel ignored. She's really a good friend to me. I appreciate her company a lot. She, we're very close, you see. But when I'm exercising, I get so in. I blank out of my own surroundings. I hope she's not too mad at me. Uh, you don't need to worry about that. I don't think she could be angry at you. She seems more reminded of me for taking up your time. <laughs> yeah, I can believe that. Yuriko can get kind of jealous. I, I tell her not to worry. She's always been my dear companion no matter what. But she doesn't seem to listen. It's in one ear, but out the other with her. I hope she didn't give you a hard time. It wasn't anything I could handle. Now! I reached out for my bag, I unzipped it, then exited the expensive camera. Uh, we only have an hour together. Uh, well, well, more like 15 minutes after all the chatting. Um, I want to make the minutes count. Uh, so we should probably get started with the photo shoot. I don't want to take up more, any more of your time than you already have. You care about me that much, huh? How thoughtful. I care about every client I work with. I know you're a busy woman. You're going to make it quite apparent that you're training for a big, for a big event. Fucking... Ugh. If our photography session was to run over, then she flayed me alive. If you were talking about anybody else, I that a big old bit exaggeration. But to be honest, I can totally see Yuriko doing that. She's crazy about it. I love her, but she can be a bit of a pain at times. <laughs> Hazel laughs. All right then, let's get the show on the road. Look at her eyes. She is a very jolly type of person. I like it. What sort of pictures do you want? Maybe some action pictures? Do you want? To get a tennis racket, I can do a few serves if you like. If you like, like this. Look, look. Hazel pick up the racket before waiting for my response and gives it a swing. She's positively brimming with energy. Her smile is a bright one, devoting of malice. Yuriko might be standoffish, but Hazel is the exact opposite. Her friendliness is effusive. She's pretty ooze. Of out of, it practically oozed out of her, excuse me, like a jelly of a stuffed donut. I like Hazel already. It looks like this photo shoot will be quite simple, straightforward one. She seems cooperative enough at any rate. Some action shots would be nice. But I thought you, you looked quite fetching when you were limber, limbering up just now. Maybe I could take a few shots of you doing a few stretches first? Stretches? That's a great idea. Hazel sits the racket down again and beams. I'm sure I can get some dynamic shots like that. Plus, uh, she leans towards me, arms linked behind her back. Her eyes begin half lidded. Her voice sultry when she says, I'm incredibly limp. I can, I can pull a whole load of complex poses, you know? Ah! I think Hazel's still talking about the stretches. I hope she is at least. But that devilish. A little grin on her face is giving me all numbers of inappropriate thoughts. Be gone, wicked thoughts. I can't afford to fantasize about Hazel Williams. I don't want to prove Yuriko right. For all I know, Hazel and Yuriko are, are an item. That certainty explains Yuriko's possessiveness. I don't want to come between them. I came here to do my job, and that's it. I can control these urges. 
Oh, uh, maybe. That does sound interesting, yes. Uh, would you care to show me some of these poses? So I go through a few different ones and then I'll snap away at very dis various different ankles. Don't mind me. Okie dokie. Hazel grins. Wow, this is exciting. I feel like a fashion model or an idol or something. I wonder just how AU AU feels when she does photo shoots for her CV covers. <laughs> hmm? I was in the middle of adjusting the lens of my camera, but this comment made me pause. Do you know AU? Of course I know AU. Who doesn't? She's like a national symbol. Her last album was the top grossing of her album of the year. She's super cute. Her twin tails are soft and silky, and I love her adorable little costumes. For me, it's a lot of fun, too. Listening to it always gets me hyped. I like putting on, on idle tracks while I'm working out. It really inspires me to do my best. Oh, right. I see. I should have figured. I was momentarily caught off guard by the mention of AU, but I really shouldn't have been. Lots of people know about AU. She's famous for a reason. I've wondered if Hazel, like AU, was a succubus. But I guess their assumptions were off-based. There's no way this bitch is a fucking succubus, because that would be weird as hell. Ugh, why am I thinking about this now? I'm getting distracted. Alright, back to the shoot. Sh show me what you got. Yes, sir. I'll give... My all. Wow! Oh, 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 my oh my god! I forgot this game also makes me flustered. Keep in mind I haven't been recording for the last three days. At least four. Um, I forgot this game really makes me this flustered. Sweet mother of God. Oh my God. Okay. 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 Ooh, okay. Holy shit. God damn it. Oh my goodness. I was not expecting this. Good Lord. Hazel drops to the floor. Her back to towards me. Her legs spread like a pair of scissors. Her The flats of her palms against the tennis court. The pose looks like a difficult one to hold. Given how she spreads her thighs at are. I'm sure this requires a lot of concentration. It's definitely impressive, but... So, what do you think? Hazel looks at me from over her shoulders. It looks cool, doesn't it? It's clearly eye-catching, but, um... When Hazel shifts, I can see something that looks soft and fleshy. Distinctly peach-colored beneath the helm of her skirt, I was wondering if anyone was going to notice that, because I was noticing that too. Is she seriously going commando? Hey, Hiroki! Hazel pouts. Aren't you going to take any photos? I think a shot like this would get a lot of people talking. You're not wrong there, but I think you might be... I think this might be a bit too much for the daily... For the Sakura Daily. Ah, uh, too much? But why? That is because... Well, uh... You're lying on the floor with your legs spread and you're not wearing any underwear, you useless lesbian. Thank you. <laughs> That's what I think, but I decided to keep my scratching remarks to myself. If Yuriko hears me castrating my, her dear Hazel in such a way, I think she might poke out her my one of my eyes out. Ugh, can't speak. Instead, I tell her... It's just a bit too rant. Raunchy is all. I don't think there's anything wrong with it, but it might attract an unsavory kind of clientele. Ah, huh? What, you, what does that mean? Hazel wrinkles her nose. I was born and raised in America. Japanese ain't my ain't the best. I can understand. I can't understand all those long words. I just meant some. Some of the photographs is probably too slashies. Slashies. Sexy, then, to be published in, in a newspaper? Ah, you really think so? I really wasn't trying to be she sexy. I was just... I wanted to show you a cool pose. But maybe you are right. <laughs> <laughs> Laughing, Hazel gets to her feet. She doesn't... Look all ashamed. She nearly flashed me, though. She isn't even blushing. This girl is impressive in many ways than one! Thank you. That's what I was about to say. She might be a talented sportswoman. 
but she's also a massive airhead. No shit, do you think I was trying to say that from before? I think she's might dent, might have been denser than Cosmos, and she asked me to walk her around town on a leash. What about a pose like this? Is this better? Hazel strikes a slight more generic po again pose, both arms raising above her head. She has a far less dynamism than her previous pose, but it's far it's much safer this way. She's not in danger of exposing herself in the na to the nation or to me. All right, that's more like it. I give her a thumbs up of approval, which makes her giggle. Now it's time to get down to business. I'm going to take a whole bunch of photos. Time elapsed while I snap shot after shot of Hazel, though there are some things about a celebrity she's incredibly easy to work with she doesn't have any air or graces and she isn't cold or aloof she obeys every one of my suggestions and even throws a few extra of her own uh, I soon wrap up our photo shoot with about 15 minutes to spare uh, I'm very pleased with all the pics I've taken I just hope the boss will be similarly satisfied all right I think we can call it for a day Thank you all for the hard work. Hazel, I appreciate it a lot. That's not a problem at all. I should be thanking you, Oroki, for coming all the way out here. <laughs> we still have a bit of time left, though. Maybe you should get a few pics of me, me in a different environment. We could go outside, or I could show you around the sports center. I'm sure you can get some nice photos. Me working out in the gym. That's just across the hall. We can go to the pool, too. Or maybe, in the, maybe the changing room. Wait a minute. Isn't this, is this the one thing that she warned me about? Huh? Why would we go there of all places? You don't want me to take photos of you getting undressed, do you? No, not at all. I'm not ashamed of my body. I work out hard to look like this, but that it might be a bit too much even for me. <laughs> I just thought it would be a nice change of pace is all. To be in a new environment. Maybe a few snaps of me sitting down my, my brow with a towel. It'll look like a huge workout session. It'll be a nice idea for a photo. It'll show more intimate side of me. Maybe. <laughs> hmm. I run a head, my hand beneath the chin. You know what? That's not a bad suggestion. It really isn't. Because that's actually a good suggestion anyway, regardless of the situation. Yay! I know I ain't the smartest girl on the block. What else do you think? I decided to become a sportswoman. But I have my uses. <laughs> Don't sell yourself short like that. You'd be wonderful to work with, and I don't think you're stupid. You don't? Well, that's a surprise. <laughs> so, Hazel approaches me. She wraps her arm around me and then t tugs me off to tennis court. Let's make the most of the last few minutes. I want to take even more pics. I even got. I'm going to make your news article a success no matter what. <laughs> hey, Hazel, I twisted myself free of. Hazel's grip, which takes fair bit of strength. Her arms are very toned, no doubt from working out, but her, her grip's tighter than iron. She, she weren't sweating, I doubt she would be able to wrinkle away from her. She's shorter than me, but she has more muscle mass. I wonder if she could beat me in an arm wrestling competition. Exactly. I appreciate your enthusiasm, but I don't think we could go into the changing rooms. Aw, but why not? I'm a man, wouldn't, wouldn't I distract the other girls the other women in there? No, you won't. It's still early. There, there aren't usually any other women around, and if they are, I can go, go in first and, and chase them away. We'll have a chase room all to ourselves, and you can take as much as pics of me if you want. That's very nice of you, but I wouldn't want to be a bother. Besides, Yuriko told me in no certain terms that I wasn't allowed to take any photos in any of the rooms. You see, you see what I mean when I say they fucked up the English here? <sighs> she said I have to stay here. Oh, she did, did she? What a bummer. Hazel pouts. I like Yuri, but she's always so serious. Stingy, too. Don't let her tell you what to do, Hiroki. She ain't the boss of you or this place. She's just a receptionist. But she is the... She does have the authority to kick me out. I guess so, huh? Well, how about this? Hazel plants her head on her hips and her smile unwavering. Let's take a few extra pics super fast on the sly. 
We'll be in and out in the changing room. Ten, no, five minutes. And Yurika will never be any wiser. Be any wiser. <laughs> I think she'll find out we tricked her if any those photos end up on this Sakura Daily. But trying to tell that to Hazel, she she look elaborated the idea of hers. She's really desperate on helping me, huh? I figured she considered my presence here in I figured she considered my presence and here a nuisance, but I expected to try and shoot me away from the sports center the moment I set the camera down. But apparently not. She wants to ensure that the article of Gimbeski could be. And that being the case, who am I to stop her? I'm a little afraid of your go, it's true, but it should be fine. I want to trust Hazel. I'll take the photos as quickly as I can, then I'll be out here. It's a perfect plan. All right, I'm gonna have to end it here because clearly things are going to get out of hand in this room because she just now asked me of something that the receptionist literally told me not to do, but yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you guys did, make sure to leave a like. Also hit that subscribe button if you are new to the channel. Also follow my Twitter, follow my Instagram, and follow my Discord server and also, yeah, sorry. Join my Discord server and join Creators Hub it down in the link in the, uh, link in the description. I can't speak. <laughs> but anyways, it's been that guys. Later.